Hi guys, this is Danger Man the Urban Superhero and this is another Danger Man moment. Well, policing in America. Police are under fire because of um, uh, bad shoots um, and police brutality and uh, especially after this, this uh, Baltimore um, uh, this Baltimore killing of um, the young man um, who was in the police van um, and he was stopped uh, for doing nothing, you know, for just, you know, for uh, for just doing nothing. I think the cop said that uh, he had a knife in his pocket, but of course that was afterwards because they don't have X-ray or X-ray vision. They couldn't see the the um, the the knife in his pocket, and that wasn't even a crime okay you know um, and um, so yeah there's uh, there's a lot of issues here that uh, Alec, um, Eric Eric uh, the brother the young man who died in New York first name was I think Eric Campbell or something Eric who was choked by the police okay and uh, then there's the, the African-American man who was shot in South Carolina as he was running uh, just shot eight times okay and then in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, the, the officer who, who wasn't even supposed to be an officer, wasn't even supposed to be doing what he did, shot a young man, uh, uh, well, not a young man, but shot an African-American man uh, for, um, uh, who, who ran. Uh, but he said he thought he was pulling out his taser, okay? And in a lot of these cases, um, you know, uh, police used the same standard a reason I was in fear of my life okay and I heard that years ago when I took some police training classes all right um, <clears throat> and uh, they would tell you uh, I sh took some classes some shoot don't shoot classes okay and you know I, I mixed mixed it up with a lot of police officers because I was a private investigator and I worked with a lot of cops so anyway uh, that's what they tell you okay um, you know you shoot somebody you say you're in fear of your life. So, you know, whether whether it was a, a just shoot or whether they whether, whether they shot the person wrong, that's what they're going to say, okay? So, policing in America has definitely got to change, okay? Uh, we have police going into communities where where they don't live in and, and they're, they're going in to answer calls and, and they're being uh, over-aggressive with, uh, with uh, individuals and... Uh, and, and then not, when it comes to their police training, they're not following their police training. What they learned in the academy, you know, they had those nightsticks and they had their maids or their beanbag guns. Uh, a lot of them go straight to the big, the big banana, the big pistol, okay? And, uh, uh, you know, they choose sus they, 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 they don't run after it or, or let suspects go. I mean, they, 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 they pull out their gun. When they start running, they pull out their gun. Uh, you know, and they shoot them, shoot them right in the back. What kind of policing is that? Okay, you know. So uh, things have definitely got to change. And I know there's this this program now, twenty million dollars the government is coming up with for camera, body cameras. Okay, you know, but it's, it's more than just body cameras, more than just equipment. It's more of a it goes to the heart. Okay, and to uh, um, uh, the training. Okay, uh, of of these officers. Okay, and their passion. You know, do they want to be police officers or, or do they think they're working in a, in a jungle somewhere and they're, um, uh, you know, some kind of private paid uh, uh, force to just do what they want to do, okay? Like mercenaries or something, okay? You know, so, um, you know, all this has to be taken into account and, and uh, you know, we need police officers into our communities that are going to come in and do the right thing, okay? and um, uh, do the right thing and then not hide it, not, you know, if something happens, you know, and tell the truth, okay? And, you know, you got that blue wall. Once that blue wall goes up, you know, it's like, and if you're an officer and you try to tell, tell the truth because, you know, you, you feel uh, in your heart that some, somebody did something wrong, then, you know, then they like, they out you. The cops out you, okay? And, uh you know, you see it on TV and TV shows, and it happens in real, real life as well, okay? So, but policing in our communities are very important, and we need police officers and um, officers, men and women, and the majority of them are good, are good, 
good people, you know, good folks. They come to work, they have families, they get, you know, wives and kids and uncles and grandmas and mamas and daddies, and they want to just go home at the end of their shift, okay? And then you have uh, you have some of them that have this, this thing in, in, in their head that they're, you know, that, with that gun that they are the power, okay? And they want to take it down, okay? So, uh, uh, anyway, that's uh, some of my thoughts on it. Um, you know, you're watching some of these kids. Now everybody got a camera. Everybody has a camera now, cell phones or video cameras. Uh, the case just a couple of weeks ago where this lady was, uh, the marshals were arresting a, a guy, and, and this lady was watching it, and she took her camera and started recording, you know, and then the, uh, the marshal went and grabbed her camera and smashed it on the ground, you know, okay. Uh, Luckily, there was somebody else that was recording her, okay, and they got it on camera, okay, you know, so uh, uh, a lot of these officers don't appreciate those cameras, but if you're doing your job, it doesn't matter, okay, you know, and sure, you're going to be aggressive, you know, I mean, you're going to be, uh, um, there's some things that are going to piss you off, and, you know, you'll have to fight with some folks, you know, and, uh, you know, I, if I was a um, officer, you know, I would, you know, um, you know, where he sees officers get hit by bricks and rocks and, and bottles and stuff. Uh, you hit me with a rock or a bottle or something, you're going to have a problem, okay? And so, I mean, it, you know, if people attack you, I expect an officer to, you know, to, to do what he needs to do to protect himself, but still do it within the law, okay? You know, and, uh, but, you know, you can, it can't be beating up on the police and, and uh, running them over, trying to run them over and hit them with sticks and shoot them, okay? and stab them, okay, inspect them, they just say, oh, okay, thank you, I'm a police officer, and I'm, you know, uh, you know, I'm served to serve and protect, yeah, but you, they, they need to also protect themselves as well, okay, so anyway, uh, um, you know, there's, there's a lot going on, these issues are, are really uh, staring us in the face right now, um, uh, there was almost some drama again today in Baltimore where the uh, officers, um, uh, some uh, th there was some guy that had a gun. The officer saw him and, and he tried to get away from the officers and threw his gun and his gun went off. Okay, and uh, and then the people you know the people just don't trust the police. They thought the police shot the guy. Okay, but it ended up that he didn't. They didn't shoot him. Shoot him. Okay, and um, and so uh, um, you know it was just uh, th there was just these rumors that were running ahead. A cop shot so and so and the people were getting ready to turn out Baltimore again. You know, but luckily. You know, the police were able to convince them. I think a black captain or commander came out and was able to convince them that it wasn't what they thought it was. So, God bless. All right, guys, this is Danger Man, the Urban Superhero. There's a lot of danger out there. You guys be safe. Watch your backs. And, and uh, let's, let's help turn these communities around and turn this policing around and, and uh, work together, okay? All right, you guys be safe. Watch your backs. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.